I want to talk about a very, very strange thing I read online this week. Okay. So there is a guy, uh, I think he's Japanese, honestly, um, and he has always had trouble meeting women or dating women, okay? Like, these women have quite often kind of told him that they thought he was creepy, um, things like that, you know, which obviously isn't very nice. Like, people don't like being told stuff like that. And uh, it can be quite demoralizing. Um, but, like, this guy has got married this week, I think. I think it was oh, this week. Good for him. Yeah. Um, he has married a girl called Hatsune Miku. Wait, the... The, the, the Vocaloid cat doll anime... What? You are correct. She is a Vocaloid anime... Uh, what you call it. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so basically... He has arranged through through the company. Oh, look, wrong button. Uh, through the company that make Hatsune Miku to um, to marry her uh, and to have um, like a marriage certificate drawn up and like they had a ceremony. Um, none of his family or friends turned up to the ceremony, but they had a ceremony. And uh, he he put a ring on a doll of Hatsune, and uh, he kissed the bride with this ring with this doll. Wow. Um, for apparently a slightly creepily long amount of time. Um, and he was basically, uh, he, he said something along the lines of like, oh, I hope this is the the boost that society needs for acceptance in, in all, ki- all, you know, basically all types of love rather than rather than the traditional kinds of love. Um, um, how do you feel about that? As a man vari- marrying a hologram. <sighs> I mean, it's not like she's got AI, by the People way. She's fucking weird, man. She is. She's I mean, basically an Alexa. Um, in I should point out, at, at his home, he has a holographic computer that is he bought for several thousand pounds uh, just to display Hatsune in the corner of his room. Um, did, did you, not like a life-size one, just like a, a twelve-inch tall version of her in a, a holographic display. So, so um, this, this guy's Japanese, yeah. I think so. I didn't. I don't actually know what his his origin is, but I I'm going to assume uh, Japanese because I'm fairly sure that Hatsune is kind of largest in that kind of culture. Yeah. Um, I don't know though. That's the thing. My knowledge on Hatsune Miku is goes as far as mispronouncing her name constantly, basically. <laughs> so um, yeah, I, wow. I I mean, what do we what do we think of that? That's people are fucking weird, man. Yeah, a little bit, people a little bit, right? Weird. Like, I'll sh- I'll shove some pictures up because I know people will want to see. Um... Oh, who? What's who? Edwards has just been moved from his cell to uh, the cell that old old James James Richard uh, James Thomas was in. Hmm. Look, he's just been shuffled over. Oh, yeah. I think possibly they deemed his cell too nice for him. Because his cell had like an arcade machine and a pool table, hmm. and he keeps causing fights, right? So I've got a feeling they may have they may have decided that he is too too much of a bitch to go in that that other cell. But look, let's let's schedule his execution, okay? It's about yeah. time we, we we got our next execution on. So um, Richard Edwards for being a little bitch, and uh, no, we can't call him a little bitch. We called James Thomas a little bitch. What do we call this guy? Um. Come on, Kitch. Give me a suggestion. Um, he can be a... He can be a peck of wood. A peck of wood. Yeah. Uh, in fact, you know what? You can do this execution. This is, it's your turn. I've done the last two. Come okay. on, just get get over nice. here. Tell me when to press the right button. So the first two buttons are initiate prison wide lockdown, and then it's test facility. Um, let's let's so, go for a lockdown, because now and if everyone's in bed, so now's a good okay. time. Okay, well, you start telling Richard Edwards about his, um, you know, his punishments. Uh... Where is he? I can't click on him. Um, there he is. He, there he is. Uh, yeah, have you got him? Yep. So, Richard Edwards, you were sentenced to 125 years for multiple crimes, including murder, torture, and armed robbery. It's like, wow, he's... Uh, he pleaded guilty to them all. <laughs> um, wow, that's, that's yeah. bold. Uh, for murder, torture, armed robbery, on two counts, grievous bodily harm, rape. Um, Jesus. 
aggravated that's assault. That, and that sounds like murder. a petrol station robbery gone horrendously wrong. Yeah, just <laughs> thought, well, shit, in for a penny, you know. <laughs> <laughs> God, that's horrible. Okay, well, look, let's test um, let's test the old facility. Yep. T- test old shocky. Exactly. See, I mean, he's it, it's tested. It's it's complete. This Good, chair has good. seen a, a bit of action now. It's it becoming has. a bit of a veteran. In, um, oh, your chairs! Your chairs aren't here yet. My chairs. Have you put any new oh, chairs shit, down? Shit! 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 Okay. Um, put put some chairs down and high prioritize that shit. Okay. Um, do we just want normal chairs? Yeah, just some normal chairs. Line them up so people can sit down. Put put them along the front. You know, like audience style. Yeah, that's it. Just just line them up so people can watch. Okay, beautiful. Um, Make those a high priority as well, so they get put down straight away. That's the um, hold left control and, and select them all. Bam! There you go. Okay. High priority job. Okay, so let's assemble the execution detail. Yep. It looks like... Uh, is, this a, is this a rabbi? Oh, it's a priest. Okay. Uh, never mind. Oh, yeah. It's got, it's got cross round, isn't it? Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, let's ignore that one. Um, the, uh, yeah. I, I, the priest is on his way here. Um... It looks like he's he's bringing I don't know some snacks for old Edwards. I, I guess he hasn't nice. heard how violent a man Edwards is. If um, you get the wrong crisps for it, oh, I, really, I really really want him to kick off when the priest's in there. Oh, it would be would be pretty funny to pretty funny yeah. to see. So um, while we wait for him to get there, do you see the picture of um, the half man half pig creature? Oh God, yeah. Born in the Philippines. My God, that was a weird thing. That's. I mean, it's pretty. I. I don't know if I should put a picture of it in the video. It's pretty. Uh, pretty hor- horrific in a way. It, like, is, it's, it is horrific, but it's just got. It's just got massive. It's, nut it's sack. basically. It, does. <laughs> it is basically a pig with a human face and like a human set of genitalia almost. Like it looks like it was trying to develop them, mm. uh, and it was born by a goat. I should point out. It's, it, it isn't born by a. Oh, pig. that it was, was born from a by goat. goat. Yeah. So. <laughs> Oh shit! Yeah, I know, I know. So, uh, what's Richard Edwards up to anyway? Um, he is currently um, being given the uh, being given the once over from uh, Mr. Periwinkle. Um, what does Mr. Periwinkle say? He's, he's saying, it's like, it's like, well, Edwards, you've been a bit of a dick while you've been here. He has been. So like you've been well. nothing but trouble. You've killed a few guards, beaten a few uh, doctors up. This is, uh, yep. Now is your chance to uh, repent it all. Won't change anything, but still. <laughs> yeah, I'm just waiting for Edwards to give him a swift kick in the dick, honestly. <laughs> yeah, just turn on. Right! <laughs> Last go! I, I reckon this priest has just walked in and said absolutely nothing to him the entire time. Yeah. He's just walked in, nodded once. I've got to say, just... Edwards oh. reminds me a bit of like the Bronson type. Oh, does, of just, just, just once ago, a bit like McBastard. Apart from McBastard, oh, got good old to death. McBastard. Yeah, I mean, he he picked on one too many guards, didn't he? That's the yeah. thing. Yeah. Uh, at least Edwards knew his limit, you know. Well, let's get the uh, let's get the witnesses into the facility, shall yes. we? Yes. See if they uh, use oh. these chairs. I, these cameras, honestly, I really, really sorry to anybody who's feeling seasick after that because I, I fucking do. We've got Edwards' ex-wife. We've got his daughter. Uh, we've got the daughters of his victims' family. We've got um, more victims' family, a lot of victims' family here. You see, I can't see any of this. It just says execution witness for me. Okay, no, it's basically they're they're walking into the prison, um, and when I when I press the button, the camera locks onto them, so I can uh. hover over and see like here's the ex-wife, here's the victims' family. So basically, his daughter and his son have come to have come to visit, along with his ex-wife. Um, I'm assuming that his his ex-wife probably took the kids and left him because he's such a fucking violent man mm-hmm. um, I mean it's pretty horrible to think about but like like I said if you give him the wrong pack of crisps like that's yeah, mainly why he's been it. kicking off um, he's because kicking it, off. when he's getting Lost his it. trays of exactly while he's getting his trays of food in this in this prison he's been kicking off because he's not getting his uh, his cheesy quavers mm. like we keep trying to give him discos and honestly like you know oh, discos, discos and quavers oh, yeah, but they, discos. They, they are totally different crisps man Oh, like, they're using I mean, the chairs. Fantastic. They are. I told you, I told you, they'll use the chairs. So we've got his daughter, we've got his son, we've got his ex-wife, and then we've got victim's family as well. They're all here. They're here to witness the uh, the the legal murder of Richard Edwards. Yep. Um, it's yep, time to escort you. It's now on 0% clemency chance for me. It is. 
it's time to escort you to uh, escort you to your your death, Richard Edwards. Any last words to him, Kitch, before he leaves the cell? Um, it's been fun, man. It's uh, you've been quite entertaining. You've you've given me giggles with all your beatings, your riots. You, you've been good. It's sad to see you go. Just get a fucking haircut already. <laughs> I mean, look at it. He's got like a hipster uh, comb. It's got like a toupee. Yeah, it's like a toupee. It's like hair's two tone. <laughs> yeah, it is. He's it got is. a Trump wig. Okay. Oh my god, he has. <laughs> oh, Richard Edwards. I bet he didn't even know that when he when he bought that thing. I, d- I bet he didn't know that was going to happen. You know, he may not even know that it's happened. He's probably been in a uh, been in prison for so long. He's totally out of touch with reality. Or maybe, just maybe, he does actually idolise you know Trump. Mm, but um, maybe. Richard Edwards, the time in this earth has come to a close. He's dead. Beep. Done. Yep. I see. At least he shut his eyes. Okay, I like. I like it when I can see they've shut their eyes. It's a bit more. A bit more dramatic. But let's dismiss the staff and the witnesses. God, I feel cold every time. Honestly, little shivers. It's just something about it. It's it's the music. It's the tones. It's yeah. You know, it's a horrible, horrible thing to do. I mean, we make light of it for the sake of a YouTube video, but the end of the day, like you know, it's it's not a funny thing, is it? So, but the mandated execution of Richard Edwards was carried out at one forty nine as scheduled. By electric chair. Excuse me. In the presence of witnesses. The standard compensation of 10 grand is awarded to the institution for their part in this process. Hey. Oh, man. It looks like there's a bit of a riot going on. That's the way to make a raise. <laughs> that is the way to make uh, make some serious bucks. Look at this. Oh, this is one hell yeah. of a riot. This is, this go, is full go, on riot. <laughs> this is like everybody's pissed off. Everybody's kicking up a fuss. Although these guys are kicking up a fuss and also watching TV. Um, which I think is kind of nice. So before uh, before we finish up and switch over to escape mode, should we execute one more person? Yep. You Let's go make for? it a quick execution. Who should we execute? Um, we've got Len Dog, we've got Andrew Odell, and we've got Alex Cowell. I don't know. Odell seems quite happy in his cell. Uh, let's go for... Um, you know, we pro- we should probably even things out, right? We had we had two white. Oh no, we've had white, black, and and like Hispanic actually. Hmm, interesting. Ooh, okay, let's let's go for. Let's go for. Ooh, I don't know. Who do we want? Let's have a look at their crimes. Uh, serial puppy thief. Rehabilitation is not possible. It's been a hard road. Enough said. And uh, murder, murder, and robbery. I think we should kill the puppy thief. <laughs> 